Hey, this is Jared, and today we're going to teach you how to tie a tie. <laughs> well, let's get to it. All right, this one's a winner. We're geared up, ready to go. So my wife is probably going to be pretty mad at me. <laughs> Like, this is our wardrobe back here. I'm at my house right now, so this is the space I had to work with at the time I had to work with. Uh, it's day, what day are we on now? Day five? Day six of Vlogtober? Something like that. Uh, it's hard to keep track of these days. Let's check it. Day, day five of Vlogtober. So, uh, just check, check, the, check the date. Uh, and what we're going to be doing is, in order to look your Sunday best, we, of course, if you're a gentleman, you need to know how to tie a tie. So it all ties into what are you going to do on Sundays, right? Uh, if it's uh, the preparation for worship, your Sunday best fashion. So we're just going to we're gonna teach you my method of tying a tie, and it should be a pretty short video here, just a short how-to, uh, and it's way different than the usual music videos I do. But I still think this is important to show reverence on a Sunday, keep it holy. Uh, and full disclosure, I really don't wear ties that much anymore. When I was uh, in my undergrad, I was wearing them probably three times a week because of performances and things like that. But since I've, I've been out of school, it's, it's considerably less just because of the culture of the church that I'm at. Ties I wear maybe twice a year, uh, Christmas, Easter, uh, and then other specific High Holy Days uh, and, and specific special event days. So, um, but I still remember how to do it, and so should you. The thing you need to start with is, is, a, uh, is a shirt with a collar, uh, and of course I'm wearing an Oxford right now, so it's got these, these extra buttons. Um, but what you're going to want to do is, uh, is button your shirt up all the way. That's step zero, uh, is just to make sure you've got all the buttons done on your shirt. Uh, and the second step is to just flip the collar, make sure it's up and out of your way. I don't know how well you can see it because uh, I don't have a flip screen or anything like that. So the third step is to put the, put the tie around your neck. The way that I like to do it is the fat side, whatever you want to call it, is on your left hand. Uh, and uh, the skinny side, or whatever you want to call it, is on your right hand side. Now, what I like to do is I like to use my arm as a guidepost, and I like to uh, make the, the fat side the long side, the left hand side the long side, and I'm holding on to it with these fingers. I want it to rest where I can ex fully extend my arm, um, but I can still hold on to the tie. Like right at that limit where I'm pinching the tie and it's just long enough. It's uh, it's it's right at it's where my pocket is, maybe halfway up the pocket. That might be a better uh, but, uh, of the of my pants, and that might be a better indicator. Um, but it's resting at wrist level on my on my hand. That's just the way that I gauge it. Now I'm going uh, I'm going uh, right over left, and I'm pinching. I don't know how well you can see that, but I'm pinching uh, right over left, and then I throw. So then it's left over right, and then I pull down between my arm and my chest, and I'm making sure this, this knot stays nice and tight so it's not coming out. And then I flip up between the tie and my shirt, and I'm pulling it through. And then, last but not least, I'm taking it and I'm putting it through the hole that where my fingers are, and I'm just pulling it. Now, this next step is where it the rubber meets the road. You kind of got to work it a little bit and make sure that the knot is is tightened down. And then you just pull for the the, the fat the fat side. You got to pull that and just make sure the knot is nice and tight as tight and as shapely as you want it, and I'm not working in front of a mirror, yeah, that looks like a pretty good knot to me. And then I just pull the, the thin side, the skinny side, up against, against the collar. Great. So there you go, and it's done. Then I just flip the collar down, uh, and I button the buttons up, and then I take a look. I'm taking a look in the mirror, and it's pretty close. Actually, mine came out a little bit on the short side. 
Uh, really what you want as far as, uh, mine came out a little on the short side, what you really want is for it to just touch the, uh, the, the belt line uh, uh, for you. And so if you can, I might have to extend this just a little bit. And part of this is just trial and error. You gotta try it a couple times. I'm gonna retry it and see if I can't get a better a better length. But this is really close. I'm talking about I'm this far off. Um, I'm gonna try it again and it's going to be a little bit longer this time, but just by one inch. So I guess instead of halfway down the pocket or, or comfortably into the hand, I'm just going to extend it just a little bit. Um, maybe where it might be a better indication where the thumb meets the end of the thumb, that might be a better indicator of where the, the long side needs to be. And so I'm just gonna try it again and we'll see what happens. This time it came out perfect. And all I did was just a little one inch adjustment and it looks great, it looks great. That is just, it is right where I want it to be. Let's see if I can't, this is dangerous also, but let's see, it's like right there. So anyway, that's probably more than you wanted to see, <laughs> but that's okay. So anyway, I don't know what not this is called. I know nothing about it. I just know that um, I'm gonna put, put somebody on right now, but I learned how, how um, my father tried to teach me the Windsor and the double Windsor and you know the fancy stuff, right? And this is probably more close to just like a shoe tying knot, like a box knot or, or something. Um, but it's, uh, maybe it's a half Windsor. I, I really don't know what the knot's called. Um, all I know is that it's easy and fast, and I used to, in college, have to tie, uh, tie ties constantly between like professional meetings and, 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 and for performances, right? I just had to do it all the time, so I had to get really fast. And I actually learned how to tie this knot in junior high. Uh, shout out to Miss Sedberry, who, who uh, <laughs> uh, her, and, her and her team uh, uh, taught all of us junior high choir boys had a tie a tie for our uh, for one of our concerts and so this is the knot that they taught us and it just stuck so anyway i hope it was informative i guess we'll find out uh as always thanks for watching and happy vlogtober go in peace